a, a lovely afternoon in Essex, running off a away league campaign with a win. So pleasing, Mark, honestly. Obviously, a, a major relief. We, we all came here knowing that a point would have been enough to secure our safety in the league. I think um, I think the run we've been on recently is we deserve to get the result. I've got to give credit to to Billericay. We did a presentation this morning in the hotel and they did the complete opposite to what we thought. Um, Danny's taken over and uh, for the foreseeable to the end of the season and difficult for him. But what he's done, he's, he said to his players, go and express yourselves. They come out the block so quick. They move the ball, the midfield rotations in there were great. Difficult to play against. But we do OK. But then we go and concede a poor goal. It's a header from 16 yards. They shouldn't go in really. Um, but the biggest, the biggest thing is that we go, and, we go and score up the other end. A great goal from Alex. Left foot cutting inside. He's doing a great job there on the right of midfield for us. And, um, and then we go and find a way second half. Luckily, I think it's the first time my substitutions work within seconds. You know, it wasn't the game that we were going to stay with that 11 all the way through. We were thinking about a tweak and a change, whether to put Dave up top. We obviously came away with a one instead of two in the end. And we felt as if Fletch back on the right-hand side and Ben Seymour down the middle would cause problems. He's reacted to a situation. He's won a penalty and um, another fantastic pressure penalty from Cody Cook. But again, we go through the right, go right through the group. I have to say, Zach Delaney, after the first five minutes getting booked, that's a really tricky moment then for him to go through the game. But he was terrific again. Borley, Jack Batten and Joe Rains. I'm going to go for them all again. They were all exemplary. They are all fantastic. Really dying for the calls out there. We kept to shape. Um, the distances, again, were fantastic. And um, I think they've shown that... What we've shown is if you come together as a group, as a team, and I'm talking about the whole club, the support was fantastic. Just one on the coach there to thank everyone. If you come together as a team, it's amazing what you can what you can achieve. And um, only two losses is it in ten now, mm. something like that. And, um, and a fantastic run for us. We got we got two great home games now to look forward to, um, and fully deserved result again for the boys. Impressed with how you've dealt with pressurised situations. You mentioned the penalty. I think we've now scored seven out of eight this season, which has been a bugbear in previous years. You came from a goal down. Billericay had a fair bit of the ball in the second half, but Ryan Clark not really seriously <coughs> troubled. It wasn't hurting us, and the key to that is, is again, the back four making sure that when the ball goes backwards we shift making sure we're shifting sideways I spoke about it last week the distances you saw the presentation again we spoke about distances in units and also between the units it's so key and so so vital if you're defending and not having the ball we knew we knew second half that they would probably get some possession but we also knew if we kept shifting up they would be putting long balls in down the sides going through to Ryan Clark he's come out after that goal he's come out and taken a lot of crosses for us starting position's fantastic again his experience you know went to fall down on the ball and take his time um, but right the way through the group again I thought it was a, a, real, a really really good professional performance again I've spoken about that in recent weeks um, they deserve everything they get we did things right I want to thank the board here on camera we came away yesterday we stayed in the hotel so I'd like to thank the board for allowing me to do that we felt as if it was right we thought about it a few weeks back because we knew how pivotal this game would be taking away the results we had over the Easter bank holiday we thought we'd do it and they've still done it it was great you guys were with us you saw what we were about we, we were very professional we ate together last night we had a presentation together this morning before the game and it brings everyone together it unites everyone we can't do it all the time but I want to thank the board for that and supporting me and um, like I said it's amazing what you can do as a football club when you all come together how important is it to Sirius of I with a couple of games remaining as well in terms of things like recruitment for next season? Yeah, well, it's massive, Mark. You know, I won't hide away that there's many things that I've wanted to do and talk to Paul about and talk to the board about, but I have to be respectful to where we are in the league. I'm not going to go to them and say, look, this is what I need. This is what I want. This is Now we can sit down. We've had chats and we've had discussions. We've had a SWOT analysis meeting to the board and I delivered. Um, it's something that I'll show everyone at the end of the season that you saw this morning that we did off the back of that really trying times when we come out of playing the top six in February. That was no, no more a test on me and on the players and on us as a football club was that because we come out of that losing five games. And then we set our mini targets, as I said, and I will show everyone. I will, I will share it with the football club. I will share it with supporters, what we've done. And that refocused us. And ironically, even we spoke about it there, Jack sending off at home actually galvanised everyone. You saw everyone come together. You saw the spirit in the group. You saw how well we had to defend against Dulwich with 10 men. And then we just took that on. We kept the messages the same. We kept the, we kept the spirit the same. This, again, this, the group were really, really strong. They, they fought that day and they fought ever since. Every game I've said to them, between now and the end of the season is going to be a fight, whether on a 3G surface here, whether you're going to Hungerford on, on a different type of surface or at home, they're going to be fights. And what the group have done, they fought. They fought ever so hard for themselves firstly, for the football club and for me, if you like. And they deserve, they deserve this again tonight. They deserve it. And they deserve to go and enjoy their games. 
we're not going to rest on our laurels. We're going to come into these two home games and we want to win them. Make, make no bones about that. We want to win and finish as strong as we can. Players have got individual targets and players are playing for contracts. They know that. And also we've got a major cup final against a, a huge rival, which is really good for us to go and enjoy. I hope we get a good following go down there as well. So a bit of pressure comes off or a lot of pressure comes off. But it doesn't mean to say we don't want to win our next three games. We, we, we certainly do. Contrasting, we've played at Billericay on their third manager of the season, whereas you were celebrating your 200th game in charge in all competitions. Nice little accolade for you. Yeah, wonderful. Yeah, every time I tick off these, I mean, there was something come out between the National League, Premier and South and North and something like the eighth eighth in line or ninth in line for the yeah, longest. A lot have been there a while, haven't they, compared yeah. to, say, higher up. Exactly, yeah. So, you know, a lot have been there, like Mark down at Dork in 20-odd years um, and me me coming up to five, you know. So, as I said, it's been... It's been um, it's been amazing. It's been great. I love my job. I work. I've had to work even harder behind the scenes. I don't want anyone to give me any credit about it, but you do if you if you're in it and you invest yourself in it, like I do, 24/7. You've only got to ask Andy, my new assistant, because he's realising what it's all about to manage and coach at this level. And I shared a room with him last night, and he didn't get too much sleep because I'm just I'm at it 24/7. Football, football, football. But. Um, I've got to thank them as well, my staff from Cider Kitman to you guys. You stayed with me all the way through. You're a massive part of it. You supported in everything I need. All my staff have. They've had to work extra as well, so I'll demand on them. And like I said, and I, keep, I know I keep repeating myself, but by everyone coming together, it means we've pulled it out of the bag. It means we've, we've managed to get these results to secure some safety. What we're not going to do is jump off the rooftops and celebrate. We know we want to do better. But believe it or not, someone said to me, a, 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 I won't mention him, but an ex-player said to me, this is probably your biggest achievement since you've come in as Bath City manager because when you're really digging in and you can't find a win, the players can down tools, supporters can down tools, everyone can down tools because it's difficult. When you're winning, everything's easy, you tick over. But I'm proud of the fact that we've dug in, we found a way, we've changed things, we haven't stayed the same. We've changed a lot behind the scenes, like I said, I'll share. And, um, and it's worked and it's got us out of a rut. All in all, it's been a successful weekend and thank you very much for speaking to us yet again and well done on the win. Thanks, Mark. Thanks Cheers. a lot. Thanks for coming up. Cheers, mate.